Welcome back everyone. As most of you know, every iPhone that's ever been released has some volume buttons. So let's go and hit on some, I guess, iPhone volume button tricks and tips that you may know or may not know. And the very first thing we're going to hit on is actually specifically within the camera application. So if you make your way over to the camera app like this, you pretty much see we have the ability of, you know, zooming in, zooming out, all this other crazy stuff within our photos. But did you actually know that you can take photos via the volume button? So if we go and click on the volume down button, you will see that the actual photo is taken. And this is natively within iOS. You don't even have to usually tinker around with any settings, but sometimes you will have to go and turn it off or on if it's off already. But typically, if you just make your way over to your camera app, not only can you go ahead and start taking photos with the volume button like this, but you can hold down the volume button like this and go ahead and get into video mode. So you can start recording a video by clicking the volume up or volume down button. And when you let go, it'll actually stop recording that video. And this also works with the volume down button like this. So you can just start recording it. And as soon as you're ready, you can go and let go and it'll start and it'll stop recording that video. So you can go straight into your photo gallery app like this and see the videos that we just made, this one and this one. So that's pretty crazy. Most people just know you can take photos, but you can also take videos as well by holding down the volume button. Now the same thing works with video mode if you wanna go ahead and start recording a video like so. You can just hit the volume down button and it'll start recording that video for us and you hit it again and it'll stop recording it. So that's another cool little thing, but within the Photos app, it's actually pretty crazy because most people wanna make Snapchats and stuff you can do so by clicking on this button here instead of holding it down and covering up a lot of the image. So that's the very first thing. It's actually really cool and I'm a huge fan of that. Now on top of that, another massive thing that I use the volume buttons for besides actually turning off and turning on the volume is actually with notifications. So if you get a notification and especially even the alarms in the morning, if you want to go ahead and actually turn off the alarm or you want to silence notifications with phone calls coming through or messages or whatever the case is, instead of you know trying to power down your phone or swiping away or trying to figure out another way to silence a notification, you can actually either click the volume up or volume down button. And instead of rejecting that phone call coming through, you can just hold or click the volume button down like this and it'll go ahead and silence that notification for you. So that is another thing that I use all the time, especially with alarms in the morning. So if I go ahead and set up an alarm for myself, I can go ahead and click that volume down or volume up button to silence that alarm as well. So it's a great little way at silencing notifications for your specific device, and it saves me a bunch of headache from turning off my phone or rejecting phone calls. I'll still let the phone calls go through, but I'll just click the volume down or volume up button, and it'll go ahead and pretty much silence that notification for us. Now, another thing the volume buttons are great for is actually force restarting your iPhone. So most of you know that you can go ahead and hold the volume up and volume down button to actually go ahead and power down your device. But you can actually go ahead and force to restart your iPhone if for some reason the phone isn't you know, responding. Maybe the phone call, maybe it's frozen or something like that. And maybe you're holding the side button here and it's not working. But there's actually a way to actually fully restart your phone. And it's actually by clicking the volume up on clicking the volume down button and holding the side button until you get into this panel and keep holding that side button until the phone actually fully just powers off. And you actually use the volume buttons for that. So you can see the phone just powered off. You pretty much just keep holding that side button right there until it powers on. And this is a great little trick that you can use. So volume up, click the volume down, and then hold that side button until it restarts. I do this maybe once a month. Sometimes there's something wrong with my iPhone. I have to go and restart it because of whatever whatever reason it is. And this is a great other trick that you can use with the volume up and volume down buttons. So that's pretty much it. Those are the main things that I would recommend looking at if you want to go ahead and actually utilize your volume buttons a little bit more. If you guys have any other tricks or trips or whatever for your specific iPhone volume buttons, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.